Hi, and welcome to getting started with RevitWorks Casework. In this video, we'll show you the key things you need to know about the Casework families, including how to best use them, and some basic customizations you can do so that the families are configured just the way you need them. After purchasing, you can download a Revit project containing all the families. We call this a repository, and it is a great way for you to get to know all the pre-built families and types available. There are two versions, the metric one we have here, and an imperial version. Both have exactly the same content, just the sizes are different. There are 10 casework unit families with over 115 different types, representing some of the most common unit formats that you could want to use. We also have nine panel families that are swappable, five swappable handle pan families. There is a generic bench top and a couple of low detail generic models that are great for doing quick preliminary designs. If you need something else, you just choose a family type that is closest to what you need and customize it up. We'll show you what you need to know to be able to create practically any type of joinery unit. So one of the first things you might like to do is configure all the families in the repository to suit your uh, drafting standards. Let's have a look at one of these units and some of the parameters that are, are available to you. One of the first things we get asked to do is how do you change the swing direction for all the cupboard families. That's quite easy to do. We have to edit the family to do that and we'll show you. Another thing that you can do is change some of the basic construction settings for the families. So at the moment, we've got the panel thickness for these set at 20 millimeters. Uh, you can quickly change all that. By editing the families. So if we grab one of these families. Edit the type. And just have a look down at all of these parameters. You'll find they are consistently presented in all the families. But there are a few here that you can't change that have been greyed out. We call these family-wide parameters. That means you have to edit them in the family. Uh, but when you do change them, the change will be replicated across all types. So to change that, we'll edit the family. Go to family types, find that parameter. There it is here, carcass thickness. See how the value is specified in the formula column. We keep it there, but change it to something else, like a 15 millimeter panel. When we load that back in, that value will be replicated across all types. We can also change the swing direction here by looking for a nested family under casework called swing. Typical editing that type and just unticking that box. That will reverse the swing direction. So we'll load that back into the repository so that we can see those changes. So there you can see that all the swing directions and all the carcass thicknesses have been updated for all the types in that family. You'll have to repeat that process for each cupboard family. To get the families out of the repository and into your project, there are three basic techniques you can use. Before we start though, let's have a look at our project. I've got a part plan here where we're going to build our kitchen. Back to our repository. We'll start with a corner unit and the simplest way is to use copy and paste. I'll select that family type, copy it to the clipboard, go into my kitchen plan and paste it in. You can pre-rotate using the spacebar, and then just place it somewhere. Once it's placed, click and drag 
and you'll find that it will snap onto the walls quite nicely for you. When you copy and paste a family in, it will bring in the family, there it is there, and just the type that you've pasted. Another method, back to the repository, again, select your family, and this time we'll edit it in the family editor and load it into the project. Now when you load a family, it will load the family and all types. And it may not place the type that you've actually selected out of the repository. So let's grab that, go to its properties, choose the actual type that I want, which is an underbench 600 deep with two doors and two shelves. And I do want that to be 1200 long. Now I can click and drag that to position it against the wall and against the adjacent unit. Now the other method is to create a library of all the families in the repository. And you do that from the file menu, save as a library of families. You'll be prompted to save that into a location. I've got my RevitWorks library here, casework folder, and I've already extracted these out. And this is what you'll get, a folder full of RFA files, just like the normal libraries that you get with Revit. You will need to do this method when we're swapping panels and handles later.